What is up my friends? This is Dad's Commentary and today we had some brand new challenges added to Fortnite. I'm going to explain these to you guys so you do understand them. If you guys do like these kind of videos, please drop a like. Also, if you're new to the channel, if you could drop a sub, I would greatly appreciate it. If you guys ever want to give back and you're not sure how, enter my supporter creator code Dan's hyphen commentary. Alright guys, so this is the way it's going to work. You need to complete five love challenges. You need to complete five war challenges. And you need to complete five love and war challenges. If you do that, that will give you the back bling. That is board love. It will also give you the back bling board metal mask. It will also give you the twilight strikers. You are going to want these guys. Now, let's talk about this. If you complete these five and these five it will be both of these which will give you these so once you complete all these you will be done let's break it down guys so it does look like search and destroy has been added to the game so to do war you need to play search and destroy matches you need to play five of them if you play five of them that will give you one of these one out of five right so that'll be your first one right there so one out of five then you have three different phases you need to do to get your second one. So stage one of three for war is planner, defuse a bomb, and search and destroy. So once you do that, it will unlock a, t a stage two of three. Once you complete that one, it will unlock a stage three of three. Then that will give you two on the war. Since you've done this one by playing them, you've done this one by planting them, that'll give you two out of five. Okay. Then, the next thing you need to do is look at your love challenges. So, love challenges, you need to play duo or squads with a friend five times and place top 15. If you can place top 15 five times in duo or squads, you will get one of five out of your love and challenges. And then, they have a progressive one right here, love Purchase items from vending machines and search and destroy matches. That's stage one of three. Once you do that five times, you will go on to stage two of three. Then when you complete stage two of three, you will get a three of three. Once all three of them are completed and you have this one completed here, you will have in the love two of five. But that will give you, since you'll have two love, two war, that will give you four of ten complete five love complete five war so you'll, if you do all these challenges you can do right now you will have two of five two of five four of ten you will also get this spray just for doing them you'll get 15,000 xp you'll get thorny love spray you'll get 15,000 xp you'll also get the beacon no you won't get the beacon that's tomorrow so in 14 hours we will have more unlocked guys so that's the way it's going to go they're going to be progressive so tomorrow there will be one more of each so what that will give us is since we have two that will give us three of each right and it'll give us six of ten right this day will give us four of each this day will give us five of each and this day will give us an extra one there we go guys that is how you're going to do it that's how that challenge is explained let's look and see if anything else is added in here these challenges are going to be completely different than your alter ego, your daily mission, and your regular missions. Also, I've had a lot of people message me, guys, your stretch goals, your remedy versus toxin, your Ripley versus sludge, your eight ball versus scratch, and your cameo versus chic. Do not count towards your alter ego. You need to have your alter ego unlocked to do these. So keep that in mind. Your alter ego needs to be unlocked when you look at them. See how I have stage two of two? If you didn't have it unlocked in your alter ego, you would have one of two there. Just an FYI on that. And if we go in our game mode here, if you're like, well, how do I play search and destroy? Go to play. Change your mode right here, guys. Here's search and destroy cove. Here's search and destroy cemetery. I mean, search and destroy factory. There's 12 of my friends playing it. We can see, we can jump in a game here. Um, it's an LTM guys. We can jump in it see how to play it here real quick Let's uh, let's ready up. We'll hit don't fill and I am on PC So I'm not like a huge PC player also guys check what's in the item shop while we wait 
The metal mask is in there. It looked like a bundle, but it looks like we are going to jump in again. I have not done search and destroy. I thought about creating one in creative. I thought of a way to make the triggers and stuff work. I have a good idea on how I can do that. But in the meantime, let's check and see how search and destroy is. Guys, I do plan on live streaming Saturday as well, where I'll be on my main setup. So if you need help with any of these challenges, guys, send me an epic at dad's hyphen commentary. All right, let's jump in here and see what we have. So if you ever wonder what those paint things going down are, that's a barrier, so you can't go outside. Those are barriers they're rendering right now. Or it's volume, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's a barrier. All right, so we are running in this island here. Yeah, that's definitely a barrier. So we can't get outside the map. That's how you stop people from getting outside and stuff like that. All right, so let's look around and search and destroy. See what we got to do, how many people are in here. So this is a barrier. I probably won't be able to run through it. Let's see. Oh, I can. So this is music. This could kill me if something kicked on. They're showing it. It's music. I'm just trying to see how they have this set up here. Because I thought about making a search and destroy map. And it would take a little bit of work. And what kind of what I was thinking is you would have um, like something you would pick up. A bomb type thing. And you could make it to where only one player could trigger it when it did a certain thing. And the other... The other team could trigger it on another, and that's how you would do your... Oh, wow, there's going to be 6v6. Um, that's how you would make your triggers active. What you would do is you would set it to where only one team was active. And it definitely sounds more complicated than it is. It is pretty easy, well, at least for, for me to do, because I understand switches and the way things work. All right, let's check out this gameplay right here. So we do need to use vending machines. We've seen that as one of our challenges. I don't have enough resources. So let's see if I get the resources. So here's some resources, baby. All right, let's see. Nothing, nothing, nothing. No resources. So we got to see how we get. All right, so this is search and destroy. I don't play on PC very much, guys, but this is basically what it looks like. I'd imagine it's with objective, plant the bomb at objective A or B. I don't know who has the bomb. I don't know if we all have the bomb, how it works. Check it out right up here and see what we have. I don't like that I only have a pistol. Take the kill though, why not? Alright, let's see if we can do anything in here. I don't have enough resources. Well, this is gonna be hard to do this if I don't have any resources. Uh, let's see. Alright, there's one of five, two of five, three of oh, it's a different matches. No, oh, there's three of five right there. So we almost got the love and war progressive one done. I don't know what I bought, a stinky? I bought a stinky boys. If I need more coins, I only got 25. Let's get over here and just kind of check it out. So it does look like you need to get some coins right here to do this. And you must get them by getting pills and plants and stuff like that. And let's try to smoke some people out here. Alright, well, we can smoke ourselves up too. That'd be fun. Is that 
get shot in the face when I can't get my gun on him. So bad. Keyboard and mouse, really. Alright, let's get up here and see if we can get a kill. I'm the last one alive again, of course. Because I'm not very good at it. search and destroy. I'm going to finish up going to these vending machines here if I can. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is, this is part of the lore, love and war challenge. Let's see if we have, if we have any coins here though. Do we get any coins? See, all we got to do is use vending machines. Four. Can I use them one more time? There we go. Our vending machines are done. So we will back out. Just kind of see what our next love and war is. We will leave. And I, I know you got to plant and defuse. That really helps. So it would be good to do this as a team. But let's look and see um, what our next challenge is. Since it is progressive, that would have unlocked. And that was actually pretty easy to go in and get some, like, just use some vending machines. Just get something simple. And we'll see what it does. When we unload, we will look. All right. So we did get 15,000 XP. Just like it said, and let's look and see what our next challenge is. So if we go in Love and War, notice how we got one of five for playing the match. But where was it? So stage two or three, purchase item from vending machines and search and destroy. So now you got to buy 50 of them. So that's going to take a while. And you can turn on party assist. And notice I did the stage 101 for Love, but I didn't get anything up here yet for Love because I do need to complete them. Anyway, if you guys did like this video... Please drop a like on it. Also, if you want to give back, I am sponsored by Epic Games. Enter my supporter creator code, Dad's Commentary, in the item shop. Hope you guys have a good day. Dad's Commentaries out.